Who would have thought the storyline with Beast Boy would actually feel like both annoying and entertaining all at the same time? As we now actually wonder, okay, what is all of this situation going on about? It's a... Uh, I'm not really sure, but what is uh, really sh showing up is the fact that uh, this uh, episode does reveal what Halo really is, as well as, and uh, finally the return of Beast Boy. Maybe uh, we'll see. But it also puts a spin on how Beast Boy became Beast Boy. It's uh, we have all we all know how wonderful the Young Justice writers are. And now, the, the fact that they pulled in the twist that Beast Boy became Morphin because of the blood of McGann. However, now we seem to get a suggestion that, yes, the Martian DNA helped. But if the if the shapeship abilities really was there, then why didn't he just morph into other beings as well, and one only animals? Suggesting that Beast Boy's powers uh, get, got a help and a, or a boost from McGann's uh, Martian DNA but more of the fact that he was chosen by some mystical thing. Although, is that everything in his head? There's a twist. But the more important thing is that this is an episode of Beast Boy. And also, by the way, we finally see Her Majesty, uh, Queen, uh, Queen Perdita, in her 17-year-old glory. And let me tell you, she looks beautiful. So that's how she looks when she's a grown-up. And uh, But more of the important storyline is the fact that... Uh, uh, Halo takes uh, Victor to the team, where it's actually revealed a theory that a lot of people had on the internet was true. Turns out Halo's powers are not a uh, metagene, or maybe they are a metagene, it's just that they are heavily boosted by what she has really become, or maybe it's not, it doesn't really matter. Because it turns out that Gab Gabriella Union, or whatever her real name was, really did die when she was assassinated and try to turn into a metahuman because the girl of that causes one that calls that violet harper aka halo is actually a mother box soul inhabiting gabriella's deceased body i know this is very complicated and even more complicated to explain but basically saying the Gabri real gabriella the human gabriella is dead the one who stands before them right now is the mother box soul inhabiting the body, thus bringing it back to life, but no longer as Gabriella, but as uh, the mother box soul. However, when the human, the deceased human mind and the mother box uh, mind uh, c clash due to the shock of probably being brought back to life, uh, of mother box trying to bring it back to life, shattered uh, the mind, thus, thus killing the Gabriella personality, and creating the Halo personality. The personality that is mostly a mother box, but also her own. She has no past. She has no other memories. She is basically just a new girl. Uh, uh, but a mother box fused with the human abilities gives, it, gives her amazing abilities. It is pretty amazing, but also pretty tragic. But this most of the important storyline is Beast Boy, as uh, he seems to always getting harassed by Mento, uh, a pretty annoying uh, uh, producer who is very likely based on the Doom Patrol. In fact, the, Do the Doom Patrol do appear in here, actually voiced by the Teen Titans actors, and yes, including Carrie Payton, but <laughs> who could know that it was actually there. As um, Garfield has a date with King... Queen Perdita, he decides to try the, go the VR Googles. But then suddenly as he gets to level 10, a very strange glow happens on them, very reminiscing of the, the father box technology or something else entirely. And he goes completely blank. And then he enters a hallucinating dream state, going into animational-like comedians moments, including a style that is reminiscing of Teen Titans Go, where we actually seen the Doom Patrol being voiced by the Teen Titans uh, abilities, and then even a Hello Megan, where he sees his mother again. Until finally he gets uh, uh, into a blank stage and actually gets talked to a monkey. A monkey who has actually been following slowly into the different universes. 
And this monkey is actually voiced by the same voice that, I mean, Jason Spike, but the voice of Wally West. But even the monkey himself admits that his mind chooses voice, as the monkey reveals that, yes, the Martian DNA helped, but I was the one who made you Beast Boy, apparently implying that Beast Boy's powers are mythical in nature because he was chosen by the monkey god and then granted abilities, but, uh, but uh, Beast Boy uh, became he a hero of his own right, and the Martian DNA is not the real reason why he is morphing. It is helping, but it's not really that point. The real reason why he can morph all that is because of the monkey god who has chosen him to become who he is. Although it's worth noting, is all of this in his head, or is all this more? Either way, what it is noting is that Megan and the, uh, Connor, who also has a little bit of we haven't spent enough alone time together, gets called in to them as Megan tries to save her adoptive little brother. And during all of this time taking a trip down mem memory lane, Garfield came to realize that, yes, he wanted to be on television because he thought it would be close to his mother, but that's not what he was really chosen for. So he's pretty badass when he decides to, and it's time for me to return to reality. And he does re return to rea reality. As he pulls the slang of the future, he immediately tells Megan and Connor that these VR goggles is full of brainwashing technology. And who is the one who's doing them? Well, none other than the producer boss, Granny, goodness, Gretchen Mode, good, is working for the bad guys. Finally, the team has one step ahead of the light. Or do they? Well, either way, the episode ends with a kiss. This is pretty good. So I have to admit, I mean, Beast Boy is far from my favorite character, and I do not like the fact that uh, Greg Shipes came back voicing Teen Titans uh, here, but, uh, I mean, the Beast Boy thing, but uh, it's still, it's a very emotional episode with nice animation and a little bit nice twist. Of course, I'm pretty disappointed at the fact that the monkey seems to imply that Beast Boy's power is mythical in nature, because that almost puts... The, you know, the Martian DNA morphing abilities down the drain, and that is actually a little bit of a disappointment. Another thing is worth noting that Victor does get a little crazy here again until Halo purifies it, pure sun again, meaning that Father Box influence is not yet over. And, oh yeah, and his voice actor is Sino Robinson. I haven't heard about that guy, but it does an excellent job. Also, it's worth that uh, Mother Box and... Uh, uh, no, New Genesis technology and apocalyptic technology really do hate each other because the sphere really shows hostility here. And we have never really seen that much hostility from her before. So I'm looking forward to what happens next. What is going to happen next? I have no idea. But give me your thoughts if you have any.